today we're going to figure out how you tame the Fasalasuchus, and if you're looking for them, they pretty much spawn everywhere out in the dunes. Like, they are so, so common. This is, like, their domain. While they're out of the ground like this, you can't do any taming at all, so I would recommend just keeping your distance, because they are quite nasty, and they will mess you up. What we want to wait for is for them to dive into the ground, and then at that stage, we can proceed with the taming process. There's a couple things you're going to need. First of all, some sort of explosive. C4 works, grenades work, or even a rocket launcher. Another thing I would recommend, but maybe it's not actually definitely needed, but some ghillie will keep you cool and also stop creatures from coming after you. And as you can see, it has buried into the ground. I don't actually see it. Oh, there it is. That little mound of sand right there, that's it inside of the ground. So we want to approach with some caution here, and we just want to get ready with whatever kind of explosive that we have. I'm going to use C4 just because it's the most convenient, I think. So it's a level 15. We're going to pop that down right beside it and explode, blasting it out of the ground. And at this stage, we can mount onto it. Now, what we need to do is we need to steer it into either some rocks, some sand, or some bones. Anything like that will inflict torpor on it. As you can see, that green bar is my control over this creature. If that green bar reaches zero, we're going to get dismounted and it's probably going to mess me up. And of course, the purple bar is its torpidity, so we're pretty much just trying to knock it out by slamming its face into these structures. So obviously, we're going to run out of these things, so we're going to need to make a run for another area pretty soon. I'm going to probably head over the hill, and hopefully we're going to have some good luck with some more stuff over there to bash into. You want to look for everything but trees. Trees do not inflict the torpor. Now, hopefully we can get down here and start bashing some rocks before I lose control of this guy. And we've already got him like halfway tamed. There's another one over there, in fact. Here we go. Let's aim for this rock. Now, what you definitely want to avoid hitting is cliffs. If you hit into a cliff, you will more than likely get dismounted. I've noticed that like if the creature stops in any way, uh, structures as well, like even ruins, anything like that, if the creature stops in any way, it will dismount you. And it's probably because it thinks that it's just stuck or whatever, and it just doesn't like that. But as you can see, we're making some pretty good progress here. Hopefully it can continue. And I'm, I have, like, minimal control here. I'm really not actually steering it a whole lot right now. And, ooh, that was risky. I didn't actually do that. He's kind of doing his own thing for the most part. We've almost got him out. And a couple more rocks, and we should have him here. This will only be enough to actually knock him out. At that stage, we actually have to feed him. Now, obviously, there's a bunch of creatures around, and he didn't knock out in the best area, so we're going to have to deal with all those guys. The hard part is done, though. He is knocked out, which is amazing. And bear in mind, that was only a level 15. Anything higher than that is going to take a lot more hits. They don't really seem to drain their torpor super fast, and their food does go down relatively fast. I'm not entirely certain of what kibble they actually take, so let's just see what they eat. Oh, looks like he ate one piece of kibble and got tamed. Let's see... Well, he ate the highest tier, but that might not actually be what he takes. Well, either way, we have ourselves a Fasolosuchus. Now we need to make the saddle. To do that, we need to be level 70, and it's really not super expensive at that level. 30 metal is, like, not that difficult to get. Let's get him out into the open so we can check him out. So we can come directly to the radial wheel here and actually make him bury into the ground, which is pretty typical of creatures that can do that. And of course, while he's in there, only I can see him, and the enemy shouldn't be able to see him. And he should be a mound now. Let's go ahead and get him to come out. It does seem like he's got some extra little things here, but that's probably based upon his tail whip attack. So what's this guy do? Well, first of all, left click is a bite, and it looks pretty ferocious, to be honest. You can obviously bite as well while you're running and walking, which is pretty good. Right click is our debris whip. So let's go ahead and try and aim for that snake over there. And that was not very good. That's probably going to be pretty useful against a larger target like a rock elemental or maybe even Rex. Our left click does a little like armor breaking sound. So I'm pretty sure that it's like acid that can actually essentially get through the armor of creatures. If we press space, we can go into the ground and this is where things become interesting. 
we can actually go right through rocks here and as you can see he gathers flint and only flint this is huge this is like the first proper flint gathering creature in arc though you are held back by the creature's stamina so let's pump a couple levels into that and go back into the ground when it's full let's do that here we go and i just immediately started gathering more Obviously, lots of creatures gather flint, but I don't think anything specifically only gathers flint. This is definitely going to be quite useful on this map. Now, while you're in the ground, you can hit right click and build up your momentum to do a little sand whirlpool. And at this point, anything that was inside of here would be immobilized and uh, yeah, <laughs> they, they would take a little bit of damage. Let's try that out on some stuff over here. Maybe a scorpion or something. Gonna just give him infinite stats so we don't have to worry about his stamina all the time. And let's just like fly around here a little bit. So I'm pretty sure that if we went downhill, we'll actually increase our speed. Yeah, let's try that. I'm gonna try that fresh. Yeah, we're going a lot faster there. Then I think just in general, we're actually gaining speed anyway. You can see right up in the top right hand corner, we have like a little foot symbol, which obviously means speed boost. All right, we got an Arthro over here. Let's try out this little sand whirlpool. And I did not do that in the right area at all. Let's try that right here then. It's kind of hard to actually aim. All right, dung beetle. That's going to be the thing. Here we go. <laughs> can I get him? I think I can. Here we go. And as you can see, he's actually going to like go into the sand a little bit. And we can make him submerge by hitting left click. And he's gone directly under. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty cool. I like that. While we're in the sand, we can also hop out and attack as well, which is pretty good. From a little bit more testing, I figured out that you can actually stop creatures from being aggro to you by using the debris whip on them. As you can see, that Karno is just running and running and running. He's never going to stop. There is a little bit of a cooldown for each creature that you're hitting with this, and obviously you can't spam it on the same creature constantly. And it also turns out that you can trap flying creatures using the sand vortex as well, which could be quite useful unless they get killed immediately by a dire wolf. But yeah, still pretty useful. Just in general, I see this as more of like your mid to kind of late game tame where, you know, they're going to be pretty useful, but maybe not as useful as some other creatures that you should have at that stage obviously these guys are indeed breedable they are reptiles so they should lay eggs and yeah that is the fasola Sucus. if you guys have enjoyed this video hit the like button i've already done one on how to tame up the oasis or in case you're curious and we got some more content on the way as well and uh yeah thanks for watching catch you in the next one